Hi, this is Rithin DNS, a network security solution for Android phones. So let's start and see what it does. So Rithin DNS has two modes, a DNS mode and a firewall mode. Right now you can see that the DNS is connected to Cloudflare and in firewall mode I have blocked 11 apps. Let's look at some options in firewall. Um, so I can block all apps when my device is locked. I don't, apps have no business connecting when my phone is not active. This setting is kind of pretty advanced, which says that whenever app is in the background, I just refuse connections. Only when an app is in the foreground, I let them connect. And then there are these other options like block all newly insta installed apps by default. So for example, if I go to Play Store, download a new app, then that would by default not have any internet connectivity unless I enable it here, uh, unless I explicitly allow it. And there's an option to whitelist apps because there are some critical apps which I do not want to be subject to any rules. For example, WhatsApp should be able to, I should be able to receive incoming WhatsApp calls even when my device is locked. Here uh, you'd see that, that there are, there's a list of all the network TCP and UDP connections going out of my phone. Uh, OnePlus service has been trying to connect to time.android to probably sync uh, network time. And Google Play Services constantly communicates with googleaps.com. Um, what I could do is that you can see that the ones with the white border are for the apps that are whitelisted. And I can also filter out to see which rules are be effective. For example, I can see which apps have been by bypassing DNS. I can see that Google Meets has been bypassing DNS. Which What it means is that Google Meets is not making DNS requests but connecting to this IP straight away. So I choose to block those requests because um, these apps are bypassing the DNS rules that I set. So I have a bunch of DNS rules that I can set from the DNS screen. Um, so this, these, the, the rules are here on this web page. You can see that I've got multiple block lists uh, that I can choose from. Or I can also choose from the block list already pre-curated into their own sets of uh, packs like adult piracy gambling so me enabling these uh, by enabling these packs I block like social media I block all the social media websites but this is only at the DNS level so apps that bypass DNS would be able to connect to their endpoints so I don't want them to do that I want them to go through the DNS first so that my block lists are applied as appropriate so that's 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 what that's what we saw uh, apps like Google Meets too and Instagram also bypasses DNS uh, like you see it just connects straight away to the IP addresses you can also see that we map IP addresses to potential domain names as well like for example edge.mqtt.facebook.com was the domain for which 31, 13, 79, 10 was the IP address that was output so if I copy this I can go I can, I can relate it and if I paste it here, you can see that it was the request was sent to h.mqtd.facebook.com. Um, so this is the DNS locks screen. The ones with the red borders are the requests that were that were blocked. So it shows me that one host pro is the is the list that blocked requests to userlocation.googleaps.com. I can look at all the blocked connections. I can see that the requests were blocked to dit.whatsapp.com by combined privacy block lists, one hosts, goodbye ads, and OISD. Similarly, graph.instagram was blocked by these lists that, that I have chosen. That's it. It's pretty simple. Um,